Would you rather an extra finger on each hand or an extra toe on each foot? Why would you want an extra toe on each foot? Whereas if you had an extra finger, there's a lot more grip. I mean, no gloves would fit. You'd have to get custom gloves made, you know. But I guess if you had an extra toe on each foot, like shoes, it'd probably be an issue. Unless it's the little toe. There's barely there anyway, right? <laughs> but if it was like an extra big toe on each foot, girl, no shoes are gonna fit those feet. <laughs> I don't want, as always, but I'm gonna say an extra finger because reasons. <laughs> Let me know what you would pick in the comment section below. And let's roll that intro. Hey guys, Takara here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're on Lucifer season five, episode 12, I believe. Please remember I've extended an exclusive videos of these over on my Patreon. So if it takes your interest in any way whatsoever, please have a look in the link below in the description and check it out. But without further ado, I wanna get straight into this episode. So here we go. You're enjoying your sleep, amazing dream, and then your alarm goes off and you're like, why? I could not think of anything worse. I always wondered how he got that little quiff. Oh, he's losing all hope here. Daniela, what's going on? He's just gonna get wound up now by Lucifer. Daniel, you've been staring at that same file for 10 minutes now. You come at me with these sort of funny, kind of clever insults. I give back, we go into a little insult dance, and that's a Tuesday. But now everything's changed. Don't be ridiculous, Daniel. Nothing's changed. I'm still the same person. Detective Douche is a real joy to be around today. You just have to give him some time. Is it me or has she just got prettier? Even prettier. Maybe Dan could do the vacation. Did you notice the name of the processing officer on the other end? Luis Navarro. Uh -huh. I just want to remind you of the last time you worked a task force together. Yes, we were friends, but I know what kind of cop this guy is. The kind of cop who likes to cut corners. The kind of cop who's looking to play angles on the slippery slope to being a criminal himself. The kind of cop that I haven't been for a very long time. I've got it all under control. Famous last words. So we have a Dan-centric episode. What the hell? Danny Moore! Oh! Hey. Oh! Why? Why are we not meeting at the police station, bro? You didn't get the message? What message? It was a screw up in the paperwork. The prisoner won't be discharged till tomorrow morning. I drove all the way down here. I know, I know, but I got it. He's gonna end up hammered and then missing his job tomorrow. Oh man, I've had my few beers. I think I should go check out the hotel room and watch some HBO. Wait, 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 hold on. I think I called it, it's hammered. You consider joining me in a business venture. <sighs> Run these- Oh, here it goes, actually. Up to LA. Housewives up there love this shit, okay? I tell them that they're ancient ass things and all this, but really, they're just beach rocks, my friend. So it's legit. It's legit money, huh? It's low risk. Listen, I just need a man on the other end to make sure that it runs smooth. It's just not me anymore, man. Can't help you. A few more drinks down, you done, and then you'll be doing it. Dingo. <laughs> To better days ahead. Well, shit. <gasps> well. Take a breath. Let's think this through. Why would you need to? Unless you've got something to hide. Luis, I don't fully remember what the hell happened last night, but I did not kill anybody. I know you didn't kill anyone, my friend, because I know who did. Okay, so those crystals I was talking about, maybe the risk wasn't quite as low as I led you to believe. Okay. So are you saying that these are the guys who killed Benito? So I figured they must have hit him when he left here last night. How much do you owe them? $200,000. Oh. But I have it. I can pay them. I was going to pay them. Okay, I just wanted one more day. That is a lot of money. I feel like you're already wrapped up in it, to be fair, Dan. They'll come after my family. And whose fault is that? Dan, this is not on you, lad. Just get out of there. 
act as if they're like the nicest people ever but are literally going to destroy your life. Like Dan doesn't owe him anything right now but somehow this guy makes it act as though he does. You know, just saying, you all sweaty with mysterious boxes and I know corruption when I see it but you know, none of my business. Well, you need to be careful, okay? Because you think you know things but then life has a way of blindsiding you. Kind of like that. You're supposed to keep your eyes on the road, my my friend. She's done a runner. And took the box with her as well. Unless the Russians have took her and the box and keeping her hostage or something. Of course it's dead. He is not having a good day. Dan? Ryan? Yeah, it's me, Ryan. And Kevin from class. <sighs> Hey, you know, we haven't seen you in improv in ages. We're just driving back from a show at the El Cerrito <sighs> Community Center. Yeah, yeah, you know, you're missing out on a lot of sweet gigs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been, I've been, uh, pretty busy lately. Do you need some help? Uh, 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 uh yeah. Actually... Yep, yeah, it looks as though he does. And? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, it's improv what I want. Right, Improv 101. Oh, yeah. Where do you need to go? This guy can't read a room, can he? So talented. Daniel, fancy seeing you here. I need your help. I need a favor. If we go there, we're gonna find her. We? Well, why do you need my help? You're a police officer. If you need backup making an arrest, you have the entire LAPD. It's not that simple, man. Well, sexes didn't just spring my fugitive. They also sort of... Stole something from me, something that I need to get back. Oh. It's money that an old friend needs me to deliver so he can get clear of some very dangerous people. Oh, Daniel. <laughs> this could only happen to you. I feel as though it could, though. He's just got such bad luck and he makes really awful decisions when he's low. You say they own a bike shop? Well, let money do the talking. And me, of course. Okay, how is this gonna go here now? It's obviously gonna get messy. Was that a, a scary dog gonna be in there then? Why would they have not opened that? I'm sorry, that'd be the first thing that they would have done. This is the hype. Well, wouldn't be the first time I've spent far too much money on something I don't know how to use. <laughs> Your British ass so fancy you never learn how to ride a bicycle? Don't go making her for assumptions. You don't know this man's story. Actually, that is my story, to a T. I feel you. My old man was never around either. I'm trying to make better decisions now, but it's hard, you know? Never had my role model. I feel you. <laughs> and you, Holmes. Holmes! <laughs> I mean, it's typical. I, I haven't seen him in essentially forever. And then he turns up out of nowhere and announces that he's getting old and he's retiring. He wants to spend time with you, Esther. That doesn't belong to you. Hand it over. Well, it doesn't belong to you either. Not a low sex? Actually, it does belong to me. Or my, my friend. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I have the gun. Give me the box. Okay. Cover yourself. Into the cage, go. You're making a huge mistake here, buddy. Huge. No, bro. I'm correcting one. Sorry. <laughs> There's the doggo. Uh, nice doggy. So let's stop projecting and start reflecting. The one thing that I've learned in therapy is that we need to be gentle with ourselves before we're gentle with anybody else. Because now there's no need for us to fight. Yeah. Oh, dear. Dan, go. If this really is an emergency, I'll take care of them. Right, give me your keys. I need your keys. There's no way in the world I'm letting you drive my car, Daniel. What the hell am I supposed to do? Use your imagination. What? Take a bike. <gasps> what is that bike? What the... Ah! <laughs> 
It was a fucking head in there. He was delivering a head. Danimo, come on. You never look in the box. Oh, sweet Jesus. Chloe warned you about this, lad. Why would you get me involved in this? You could have had anybody deliver that package. And risk using one of my own guys? Come on, Daniel. That's not smart business. But having you do it is. You're not gonna win at anything, Luis. I am never gonna work for you. You need to adjust that attitude, animal, because I'm not done with you yet. I send my man Vargas to recover it, and then he runs into you at the bike shop, and you go and arrest him. That's your guy? How the hell am I supposed to know that? What the hell happened to you? Better question is, what happened to you? The pain on the side of your neck. Ikena neurotoxin. Real nasty stuff from Colombia. One minute you're fine, and then wham. 10 hours from now, you drop dead like Pablo Escobar. Why are you doing this? I always liked working with you then. Oh, dear me. Listen, um, so I have this case where I think uh, someone might have actually faked a murder, and it got me thinking, how would you do that? You mean, how could you tell if a murder was faked? Oh, yeah, no, uh, what, um... I think what you want to do here, Dan, is just be really honest with Ella and get her help, because she's going to help you. Okay, real talk now. No more bull crud. She's the best. I actually do know how to fake the perfect murder, because... I've been working on it for my novel. It's about a forensic scientist who talks to ghosts, right? But I had to confront her with an almost impossible puzzle because she herself is an impossible puzzle. She's super cheerful, but really tortured, totally transparent. But this is why you should just be honest, Daniela. Could you pull it off and say nine and a half hours? That's oddly specific. Yep, yep, you should be able to do it, but you would need to move it outdoors. Which means wrapping up your footwear uh -huh. in a specific kind of yeah, slipper. Hold, 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 just one second, you're going really fast. I'm just going to write yeah. this down. Go. He makes poor decision after poor decision, this guy. I want the best for you, Dan, but you're not helping yourself, lad. Surely his best option here would have been Lucifer. Um, something went really wrong here. 